Today, Precarious plays Chrono Trigger. We decided to explore the sewer first, based on the logic that it will either dead end quickly, or it will have something like uh, above the power curve. We gotta have some some optional goodness. Hmm. There was a bridge here. I saw it. I swear, Ribbit. What? You got up and walked away, Ribbit? Don't you lie to me. There's nothing here at all, Ribbit. But it's true, Ribbit. <laughs> Someone's coming. Let's scram, Ribbit. Frog gangsters. <laughs> Remind me that that's the voice. I gave one of them a sniveling voice and the other one a tough guy voice. Mm -hmm. I need to keep that in mind for later. Nope. He says, shake a head, shake a head. Hmm. This place is a tad on the spooky side. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Spooky! Oh, no, more of the same. Ah! Reading! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I see it! <laughs> oh, it's probably the user manual. Maybe we can make the bridge come back. Oh. There is a diary here. The final entry reads as follows. I'm through. I can't take any more of this. The fishmen attack if I make even the slightest noise. If I knew things would be like this, I'd have taken the guillotine any day of the week. Wow. Think I'll go out with a good, loud scream. See how the soggy freaks like that. Uh, what a happy place we've stumbled into. <gasps> it's a... Hitting. <gasps> it's a... You do this. Um, I... From the time I think it was like eight or nine? Let me explain. <laughs> the first Squaresoft game I played, the first Squaresoft game I can remember encountering, I think that there might have been a Super NES title incidentally before this that I didn't realize until much later was a Squaresoft game. Mm -hmm. um, but the first one that I'm really cognizant of, very aware of, I was walking through a Walmart, um, bouncing along, minding my own business. And I don't think they really do these anywhere anymore, except for maybe like GameStop. Does GameStop still exist? Mm -hmm. I don't go outside if I can avoid it. <laughs> It was uh, one of those kiosks that had a, a home console and then a TV mounted above it. Mm, yeah, like a demo station. Right. And Final Fantasy IX was the demo that was uh, was was playing, and I had never seen anything like it. It was I remember the scene. It was the scene from very early on in the game where Garnet is trying to... Garnet's just being really rascally. Mm -hmm. And I can't... I don't want to explain the whole scenario to you, but she is... She's hired a group to kidnap her. Mm. But whenever it comes time for the kidnapping to happen, mm -hmm. she just has like a... Just has a fun old time running around with a smile on her face, avoiding everybody uh -huh. part of it. Because, like, she's dodging her knights, but she's also sort of dodging your protagonist, who's who's a thief and is a member of the, the gang that's supposed to kidnap her. Mm -hmm. And it's this beautiful cutscene, which, because the game is so stylized, uh, it still holds up today. It looks It looks really charming. So she's on a, on a spire, and there's this long string of uh, pennants, mm -hmm. I think. Is that what they're called? Pennants, yeah. Yeah, like Triangle tri fabric. triangles, yeah. Yeah. She grabs a hold of one, and then it gets cut free, and she and your most main protagonist swing along from tower to tower, and then her, like the, the captain of the much looked down upon male uh, group of knights 
mm-hmm. uh, Steiner, because there are there are basically like two classes of knight in Alexandria, which is a, a, a female dominated society. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, is her name Beatrice or Beatrix? The 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 lady captain is one of the strongest people in the game, mm-hmm. uh, and is much respected, and everybody looks up to her. And then Steiner, she's in charge of all of the all of the female, like serious shock troopers. And then Steiner is in charge of the bumbling, dumb, doodly, portly knights mm-hmm. who are who are like super second string, right? Like they're bench warmers. Mm-hmm. Um, So he's like this sort of portly guy who's trying his best to keep up with them, and he winds up tying a penance a pennant string of his own around his mm-hmm. waist, and then jumps off of the tower, and then like airplanes after them, mm-hmm. and then winds up slamming into a wall. It was a lot of fun, and I got the like the next available birthday holiday whatever. I was like, I want this game, mm-hmm. and that was my introduction to Final Fantasy. Uh, properly. I think that I had played a Final Fantasy earlier than that without recognizing it as a Final Fantasy game. Right. You, know? you didn't. You were like, these are some magic fantasy people mm-hmm. instead of these are the most final of the fantasy. Right. Because what happened is my, my uncle had a Super Nintendo and I just, I would occasionally play whatever he had. Mm-hmm when he wasn't using it. Because he wasn't actually, he's not that that much older than me, you know? Mm-hmm. He was the the one of the younger kids and I was like the oldest of the next generation in my family. Mm-hmm. Um, so from that point, uh, Squaresoft games were a staple for Years. I mean, like nine years. Yeah. From like nine to eighteen, and it's it's sort of sad because I still have a lot of fun replaying old Square Soft and Square Enix titles. Mm-hmm. But I can't remember the last time there was a Square developed game. Hmm that I really, really loved and spent a lot of time with. And a lot of that has to do with like changes in in habit. Mm -hmm. That looks like something that you can walk through there. It looks like a hole. Here, do you want to use your magic? Yeah, let me, there. What? That's not what I expected. (laughs) This is not, no. How? Okay, fine. That's the usual way. There's a switch. Buttons, on-screen actions. You know how it goes. And there might be something up and to the right. Like if you you go up, do you see that? Yeah. I bet if you go outside, there's an even odds that you can get there by going to the right along the top. Uh, Can you wiggle? Can you wiggle waggle? There it goes. Oh my goodness. Boy, my gutted games. Why do we need to be here? Oh my! What? <laughs> I would have died before getting that. Looks like you just have to press the switch and the bridge will extend across, Ribbit. I don't think this is the exact right voice. So, switch it on already, Ribbit. I don't have, I can't, they're not in my heart anymore. I can't remember what the exact voice is. Ribbit! Can't reach it, Ribbit. And you call yourself a frog, Ribbit. Someone's coming. Let's scram, Ribbit. Yo. Is that just sort of sound snivelly? I can't remember. They're gone. Who cares? Uh, how do we? When was the last time I played? And not just a Square published game, but a, de- a Square developed game. I actually liked Lightning What's Returns. What's a Rage Band? Uh, it's uh, an accessory, probably. Oh, there's Crawley. Oh, you be Crawley. Waltz and through the sewers like they own the place, eh? Must have a death wish. We'll teach him a little respect. 
You also did the lookout whenever we got here. It was just a squeaky int voice. Yes. Yes, we will. <laughs> just let them come through here. They'll be chopped up liver. Pulverized. Won't even know what to call them when we're done. Whoa, Crowley's cool. Oh my god! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Crowley is pretty weird cool. Hmm. Oh, they didn't know we were standing there. No, they did not. Okay. <laughs> wow, this we're, this calls for this. Yeah, make sure that doesn't do like a lot of damage. Did I fall down? Tech, tech, tech aura, tech aura now. I, I think chrono, it, chrono, chrono. There. And maybe a potion as well. My guess, my hope, is that it just always reduces you to one hit point, because mm -hmm. that seems very coincidental. And then he uses the kind of weak regular attack. Okay. So the real goal is to just make sure that you stay above probably like 70 in case he crits or something. Uh, uh, but you gotta keep attacking too. Uh, I, I know, I know. Uh, combo, fire world. No, 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 don't. Uh, that's that's an uh, unnecessary expenditure because it's just one enemy. Mm, okay. What would you recommend? Another tech? Another combo? I would just see what the kind of damage they do individually. Right now, you need to keep aura-ing whoever is target targeted by Amashu to goo. Mm -hmm. Like, what kind of damage does he deal just to the swing? So 64, and that's not great. That's horrible. She, you should have her use flamethrower. Item, potion, chrono. Have Luca use flamethrower. Yeah, see how that, see how that goes. All right. That's better. Okay. Okay, so that attack does. It always reduces the target to one hit point. Rude. That's not actually that bad. But you don't need to keep healing him. You just need to make sure that he stays above the regular attack damage. Okay, which which fire whirl? No. Our, no. No, try wind slash. Wind slash. But the real thing you need to do is get Marley to aura him quickly before he cues in it to Evermind. <laughs> no, I've got it. Fine. Just barely. Chrono's like, oh yeah, and then falls over. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so, good. I'm so buff. Look at my hair. It's up. Dead. <laughs> Just dead. Uh, we used. And he died as he lived. Pointily. <laughs> Orange ish. <sighs> should I use a potion or should I use. No, use. Aura, Not. it's it's very efficient. Pretty it, it's it's a big heal for one. Uh, is it one, one or two, one or two MP? You select party members. Am I no, doing this you're wrong? No, you're in the you're on the party screen. You need to back out and go to the tech screen. Ah, okay, that's why I couldn't find that. Mm -hmm. Got lost. Hey, Chrono, <laughs> how you feeling, bub? There we yep. go. Everybody's fixed up. Fixed up enough? Should yeah. I hit Luca? No, okay. because this is mainly just to make sure that you can get to a save point or... Well, so much for is that crawling. A, is that a door? Is that, is that thing a door? It looks door-ish. It does look door-ish. Uh, I don't know. You have me, like, pushing up against walls now. <laughs> yes. Yes, good, my child. You have learned. Hey, hey, hey. Ha, ha. He, he, he. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's a ladder up. But there's a box, we which need is a so button. much better. Yeah, and there's a button over here that we need to press to make all the bridges go down because those frogs are too short. Ha. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, put the thunder blade on and maybe the rage band. Okay. 
Even though that feels like it's the kind of thing that would get you disqualified in the world <laughs> of professional sports. Uh, hide cap. Power glove. Rage band. Whoa, wait, what does it do? 50% counterattack rate. People like to beat up on Chrono, so that's probably fine. And yeah. then put the Thunderblade on. Wow. Whoa. It's not that big of a difference. Wow, whoa. <laughs> but it's louder. Welcome to the Thunderblade! 